Hey guys, what's up? This is Puppet Master 8765 and today I'm going to be giving you a short guide on basically the idea of the compound in Inferno. Now, I know that there's traps here, right here. So, the basic idea of baiting a compound is that you destroy it or something like that. You destroy the compound there so no more monsters can come out in your next attack. Now this is one way to bait it. You get some distraction monsters over here. You know, to lure them out. And of course, like, spurts aren't the best for this at later levels. But then you just drop like a whole load right there of other monsters. They destroy the compound. And that's basically one way to bait the compound. I mean, of course I didn't show it properly. Well, you're just going to want to put some monsters out far away. And then just put some monsters in to destroy the compound. So that's the basic idea of that way. Now there's also another way. If you have Balthazars unlocked, they're basically monsters. Uh, they're flying monsters that only attack attack compound monsters like that's their favorite target so you could just set a group out here to lure them and then drop some balthazars to kill the whole thing and that will really help out and then you're probably going to want to go and destroy incubators so they can't produce more so that's the basic that's two ways to bait a compound in inferno and now this is what you're going to want to do to protect your base like a lot you're definitely going to want to put your compound in the middle so it's protected by towers you want it to be like one of the last things that enemy monsters will get to and the other thing you want to make sure you want to make sure that you have your incubators at least a little bit protected like they're not like top priority protected but you don't want them out in the middle of nowhere where they're not protected by towers, you know. Because the idea is when monsters leave your compound to go fight, they'll die. And then the incubators will keep producing more monsters. So you can basically have an infinite wave of monsters defending your base. And that's really a uh, help to defending your base. And if you have that down... It'll be a whole lot harder to destroy your base. So that's just a small guide on compounds and incubators, how to bait them, and where to put them in your base. That's about it for this video. I'll see you guys next time.